Maiden. I am from Wahoo High School. Best friend is Kenzie Stubbs. Best friend is Kenzie Stubbs. And my poem is untitled. I looked at the pens in their holder labeled pencil cup, and I tried to put my words on the page, but my head was empty. I thought about what I wanted to say, but nothing was there. Day in, day out. I couldn't get my brain to generate the words I was feeling. I was hollow. I couldn't help but think I'd finally gone dry. Then everything shook, in a metaphorical sense, of course, like one of those 80s exercise machines. But it felt like everything fell into place. I realized I hadn't run dry. The tap was just twisted to off. And I was once again able to begin. I was once again able to dot my eyes with stars that seemed to be back in my grasp as I floated through space like an astronaut. And I thought everything was OK. The seas were calm, I thought. But it was only because I was in the eye of the storm. What I had dealt with it before was only a sample of what was yet to come. It didn't matter at the time, though, because I wrote, and I wrote, emotional bursts that hit the w paper like fireworks, loud and dangerous but beautiful, but that was a year ago. And as I stand and say this poem, I feel like the day after 4th of July. All the lights have sizzled away, all that's left is the ash and debris, and the feeling of smoke in my lungs, just memories of the night previous. I would compared the nothingness earlier to a storm, but now it feels like a lack thereof. I feel so left in pieces. I have become the hollow artillery shells scattered in the street, one so bright and full of art and fire. People tell me, look at the glass half full, but my glass is empty. I'm empty. I try to write, and don't get me wrong, it's not that I can't write at all. I get lines that pop into my brain occasionally, like one-liners about how I really want to hug a cactus because they seem really lonely. And how I am like the pens in the pencil cup, because when you put pens in a pencil cup, it doesn't make them pencils. Just like if I'm a guy on the inside, it does not make me a woman. I don't, it doesn't make me the label society has pasted across my mouth to keep me from speaking, from breathing. And I try to rip off this label because I am not pencils. But the label's adhesive must be like really strong because I can't seem to peel it from my lips. I can't seem to get these lines long enough. It's like anxiety has a grip of my throat, of my mind, of my life. My anxiety is like an abusive boyfriend. Don't talk to them. Don't go out tonight. Don't wear that. Don't waste your time finishing this. And I want to leave him so bad, but he just won't go away. I'm empty. The words have left me, and I have no idea what to say. And even as I was writing this, I had no idea where I was going. I'm lost. I want to be found, but this labyrinth is too complex, and I feel as if David Bowie is going to come out and give me 13 hours to write this poem. But I think I'm failing, running out of time, running out of words.